Hello. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Yeah, this is a favorite chief at me, live. We are back again. We are back again. And we are bringing this to you live. This is the chief at me, live. Your regular. Sunday, Sunday free teachings on Facebook based on fish farming business. Thank you for joining us. If you are just joining us, let me see you indicate. Let me see you indicate. Just say something. You are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you for joining us. Who are we are online? Please pick the link now and start sharing. It is very important you share this because tonight's topic is going to be a bomb. We are telling you that tonight's topic is the foundation of your business in fish farming. Now listen to me. Last week I couldn't come live via this platform. I have to use other person um, Facebook. But tonight we are coming live. That is why you need to share this so that people will ca can join. Last week was a bomb. Today will be better. Yesterday was on Telegram and it was awesome. We had a lot of engagement. Tonight will not be different. Thank you for joining us, Mrs. Ajara. If you are just joining us, say something. Say hello. You are welcome. God bless you as you join us tonight. God bless you as you join us tonight. Let your comments start flowing in. Let us start hearing you where you're calling, where you're joining us from. If it's from this country, Nigeria, or outside this country, let us know by saying something to us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Madam Ajara, for joining us. Who else is there? Let us identify yourself. Yes. Madam Anjara Hassan, thank you. You are present. I can see you are marking attendance. Hope you are with your pen and your and your book. Marvel, I can see you again. You were on Telegram and here you are on Facebook. Facebook Live. It simply means you are a very serious student. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming to class tonight. Like I said, this is brought to you courtesy of Prodeep Integrated Farms and Services. They are the sponsor of this very night teaching. Every Sunday, they, they, they make sure that we are live teaching you. We're going to run this from September, uh, we have been running this from September, October, November, December. We're going to run it. Thank you for joining us. If you are joining us, just say something. Tonight's topic is. Tonight's topic is the how to identify how to identify fingerlings and juveniles, the perfect one for your farm. Because everything has specifications. If you don't identify the perfect one, how can you go ahead? Marvel Semi said, uh, yes, I am. won't miss your lecture for anything. Thank you for that confidence. Ajao Wasiu, thank you for joining us. Ajao, Mr. Ajao Wasiu. Ekale, Ekusheno, Eku Isimi, Yes, thank you very much for joining us. It's very important we know where you're joining us from so that we can have a little... This class, I love it to be interactive. As I'm asking, you are asking. As I'm talking, you are you are making me understand that you are following it. I'll be your chief at me. I'll also be your chief tutor. Like I said, this is going to transform into something higher. It's going to transform into what I, what I call the online school for fish farming business. This is just a preliminary. And we are looking at if it's going to be free or not. But for now, enjoy it. It's going to be free, courtesy of this this um, this uh, very uh, business called Fish Product Integrated Farms and Services. Shaibu Francis Zachary said he has landed. Wow, with granite and coke. What about your book and pen? I'm always with mine. I'm always with my book and my pen. I told you that. Come with your book and your pen. This is my book. And this is my pen attached to it. It's very important that you come with your book and your pen. Um, Stainless Hope, thank you for joining us. Stainless Hope Theophilus, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. 
I hope you have your pen and your book. It's going to be explosive. But first, first, a reminder. What was our topic last week Sunday? What was our topic last week Sunday? Who can remind us? Our topic last week Sunday. As somebody is trying to remind us, pick the link of this video and share it abroad. Oh, Chioma Iwoshina from Enduka from Imo State. Thank you for joining us, Madam Chioma. Madam Chioma, can you do? Thank you for, for joining us. So, as we are trying to remind ourselves our last week topic, who can just do something, pick the link of, of, this, of this video and share. It is very important to share it so that others can learn via you, so that through you, somebody will not lose in fishermen business. So do that. Share it while somebody is trying to remind us of our last week topic. Why somebody is trying to remind us of our, of our last week topic, please share it. Share it. So, what was our topic last week? Shaibu Francis Zachary with your granite and coke. Please, what was our topic last week? Can you remind us? I want... I, 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 want, I want astute people who can, who, who can give us who, who can give us reminder. Okay, Madam... Ch Madam Choma said vitamin and boosters. Is that the topic? Oh, Madam Majera said five magic of fish farming business. Is that the topic? Uh, Madam Phil Philomena says fish vitamin and booster. Is that the topic? Um, the, the, the topic is very simple. Okay, Ajao was to say you lecture us on fish booster. Okay, okay, you are all trying to. Something close, something close. Yes, you are all going something close. Something close. Something close. You are. I just want something that that will just that will just align it one by one. That the real topic itself. All of you are close. You are. You are all. You, this means you are in class. It means you have idea. Ajara, you have idea. Philomena, you have idea. Wasi, you have idea. And um, you all have idea about the topic, and that is very fantastic. If I'm to score you, I could score you um, something in the region of seven over ten. You have tried. You have tried very much. They buy your they will me. Thank you for joining us from, from Ogun State. So, what was the real topic? How did I outline the topic last week? Okay, should I say it? Yesterday on Telegram, Precious Ben wants something for giving us the topic as it was. Precious Ben wants something. And I've given her what she want, what she want. I expect her to have come and show her position in the open, but she has not come. I hope our transfer money is complete so that she can get to the open and show open appreciation. So, uh, what is the topic again? Let someone remind us. If there is, if nobody reminds us, I will keep my prize to myself. Now, I have a prize for whoever will remind us of last week's topic. As it was, booster, vitamin, and magic of fish farming. Oh, congratulations. Philomena, Egba, Bebewa, Utho. Thank you, thank you. Th oh, I got the name very well. Egareva. Okay. Egareva. Egareva. Okay, okay, okay. Uto. Thank you for thank you for that. Thank you for that wonderful topic. Thank you for that wonder, wonderful reminder. Booster, fish booster, vitamins, and magic of fish farming business. That is the topic. Philomena, after now, in fact, right now, you can drop a message in my inbox. I will give you an ebook on fish farming, courtesy of Prodev Integrated Farms and Service. That ebook costs five thousand naira. Please don't misplace it. Read it very well. Philomena, congratulations. Philomena, congratulations. Congratulations, Philomena. Oh, Madam Choma, you have said the best, but Philomena said it before you. So I hope you will forgive Philomena for that. If she was faster, she was faster. Congratulations, Philomena. Congratulations, Philomena. So send me a private message in my inbox. You have seen the WhatsApp number too. 08069 Send me a WhatsApp message on it. And I will give you the ebook. I promise you. You have done well. You are a good student. Thank you for the reminder. Every other person, you are all good students. Now, to be a better student, go and share this link right now. 
you are all good students, but to be a better student, go and share this link right now. So I'm going to give you the opportunity to share it. While we are doing that, we, I will be giving you, as you are sharing it, I will be giving a reminder of the fish booster, vitamin, and magic of fish farming. I, last week, we mentioned five pillars, five magic, five ma magic of fish farming business. I said that if you follow this magic five, five pillars in in uh, in the in in the in Islamic religion, there are five pillars of Islam. If I'm right, there are five pillars of Islam. So translate that to fish farming. Five pillars of fish farming, or five magics of fish farming. Number one, I said good seed. Number two, which is good fingerlings or juveniles. Number two, I said good feed. Yes, feeding them regularly with good feed. Number three, I said water, quality water, enough water. Number four, I said sorting. Yes, I said sorting, sorting, sort your fish. Number five, I said spacing, space, giving space to your fish. Five pillars, five magic. Those are the five magics in fish farming business. If you are practicing them, you don't need anybody to come to your farm and pray. You don't need any magic again. You don't need any super this or super that that you add to water or add to this. You are perfect with those five magic. So, as I am saying this, kindly go and share this because we want to dive into today's topic. Go and share it. We have two minutes to share and we'll come back. And we, So, I will come back to pick, kick off on today's topic. And as you're coming back, your pen and your book must be with you so that we can go far in our business of fish farming. I said this will be a school. It's transforming to becoming a school. It's transforming to becoming a school. So make sure you get your pen and your book so you will not forget. Yeah, some of you may save the video, but Facebook may be said to be, to be funny one day and will not give you as, access to the video. But by the time you share this, eh, by the time you share this, as you share it, you will, as you share it and get a pen and a book and start writing down what I'm about to say, you will go far in reminder. A pen and a book will help you go far in reminder. A pen and a book will help you go far in reminder. So, where did we stop last week? I'm looking for my page that I'm going to write on. Okay. So, are you sharing already? Have you finished sharing the link? Yes, share the link. Yes, share it. Just keep sharing it. Give, give it to all your friends. The one in fish farming, the one on the fish farming, so they can pick interest in it. Share it. Now, this is the Fish Farmer Asso Association of Nigeria Facebook group. It's the most prominent and the most outstanding Facebook group in Nigeria and in Africa and beyond. You know why? Because here there's no scam. There's, no, there's nothing that will make you... There's, there's nothing that will make you run away from the group because the group is actually helping you by sharing knowledge with you, helping you avoid scams so that you will not fall anyhow into some bad people's hand. So, that is why we are doing this lecture for you. Free, courtesy of Prodev Integrated Farms and Services. Now, first of all, what is fish farming? You are there as a fish farmer. What are you doing as a fish farmer? You are there as a fish farmer. What are you doing as a fish farmer? You are cultivating farm. You are cultivating fish for consumption of human for human purpose. Now, but like I gave you last week topic. In the last week topic, I made you understand that there are five different pillars or five different magic you need to follow. And one one of the foundation is good seed. What is seed? Seed is what is planted for multiplication purpose. We plant it to multiply. So if you say you, if you are fortunate enough to have good seed, it simply means your harvest is going to be good. As a Christian, there's a quote in the Bible that said, in the book of Psalms, it said, if the foundation of destroyed, if the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? If the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? So, your foundation of fish farming, it, it tends towards having good seed. That is one, that is one of the parts of your foundation 
Of course, when you are building a house, if your foundation is not good enough, solid enough, how can you build perfectly on it? Listen to me. When I took a topic the other day, I talked about, I talked about the, what you need, the requirement for fish farming. And the first thing I mentioned was knowledge, which is good foundation also, your knowledge. The next one I mentioned is getting a mentor. I mentioned getting a mentor, which is the next one. After that, I also mentioned, the next one I mentioned after that is capital, money. So even though money answers all things, if you put money in some things that you don't have knowledge, you don't have mentor, you are going to fall by the wayside. You are going to definitely go at a loss. So if you have that in mind to go on with, after money, you are going to have market before you have space, before you have water, before you have good feed or good, good seed and good juveniles. Now, this is the foundation. This is what you need to know before you start your fish farming. You need to have all this before you start your fish farming business. Good seed is the foundation of having a successful fish farming business. Now, many people have gone ahead to go get different kind of things. They're to go get different kind of things. Many people have gone ahead to go and get different things to make sure their fish grow fast. One of the universal questions that people normally ask in fish farming is, what can I give my fish so they can grow fast? That is the universal question they normally give. You will hear, what can I give my fish so that they can grow fast? Again, what can I give my fish so that they can grow fast? It's a shame that people want their fish to grow fast, but they don't want to abide under the simple rules of fish farming. You want your, your children to know how to read and write, but the, you are not putting them into the premise of in, in an atmosphere of knowing how to read and write. Now listen to me. What I'm saying this is very simple. You are conv convinced that your children need to be your child need, should be in GS1 by now. I just could GS1 by now. But your child cannot read and write. It simply means the foundation of your child upbringing in terms of education is, has been very faulty. And when the foundation is destroyed, which is the primary school, what can the secondary school do? Will the secondary school not start with the secondary school now, now start teaching your child how to read and write? No, it is not possible. This is why we always nag on the foundation. You need to get it right from the beginning. If you have money, you have mentor, you have market, you have cash, you have knowledge, but you don't get a good seed. It simply means you get a bad seed, you are going to have very bad harvest. Why I'm saying this is because one of the reasons why people have problem in their fish farming business is because they get good, bad seed, bad fingerlings and bad juveniles. And it is wrong to start on a faulty foundation. If you start on a faulty foundation, you are definitely going to run at a loss. So, this tonight, I will now open your eyes, I will open your eyes to the things you need to look out for before you buy your fingerlings or you buy your juveniles. The things you need to look out for. The perfect juveniles. When you go to market, you want to buy different things in the market, even though it's full stuff. You want to buy yam, you want to buy these or that. I'm sure you will look for the perfect yam to buy. You will not want yam that you go to the house, you cut it, and it's actually a black spot inside. You will look at it very well, you examine the yam, you will cut some parts off. Sometimes, I know some women that will pinch the yam, as if they are fighting with the yam, they will, they will pinch it. Because they want to know if the yam is actually white or black. And I'm sure you will not want to buy black yam. You will want to get the perfect person for yourself if you are not married. In the search for perfect fingerlings what, or perfect juveniles, what are the things you need to look out for? The characteristics of the perfect fingerlings or juveniles are the things we will unveil tonight. Remember, a perfect fingerlings or juvenile is the foundation of the perfect harvest for you. If you don't get a good fingerlings, you're not going to get a good harvest. 
if you buy the, if you buy a bad fingerlings, it simply means you are going to buy have a very bad harvest. And you have a bad harvest number one, bad harvest number two, bad harvest the third time, you may close shop and go away. So tonight, Project Integrated Farms and Services is going to reveal to you, via me, your teacher, the things you need to know before you go buy that fingerlings or buy that juvenile. Let's take it number one. Number one, the first thing you need to look out for is a trusted breeder or archer. Yes, look for a trusted breeder or archer. Trust is very scarce. Only few people has it. But that does not stop you from looking for out for those few persons. Look for a trusted breeder or archer, a honest one at that. So that by the time you know he tell you A, the A will remain an A. You, it doesn't tell you A, you go and see B in it. So look out for a trusted breeder or archer. First of all, number one, I hope you are writing. This is my pen, like I told you. A trusted breeder or archer. A trusted breeder or archer will unveil to you, we even enlighten you, the kind of breed he has. The trusted breeder or archer is a perfect prerequisite for getting a good fingerlings or juveniles. Don't forget, number one, get a trusted breeder or archer. Don't go from farm to farm looking for a different kind of mixing different kind of conclusion together. If you are at this stage experimenting with fish farming, I think it's understandable. But if you're not experimenting, if it's a business to you, then you need to gather up yourself and look out for that trusted breeder or archer. If you don't have a trusted breeder or archer in your location, go to another location. Make sure you try, you search until you see the trusted breeder or archer. Otherwise, if you don't have a good breeder or you don't have a good archer, you are going to run at a loss. Because a dishonest breeder or archer, he will behave like a bandit to you. You know, you know what bandits can do. So, number one, get a trusted breeder or archer. If it's not within your location, go to the next location. Keep searching. Keep searching until you see one that is trusted and arch or, or that is trusted. Or ask for recommendations from people who must have used, who must have bought from the breeder or archer before. Put that in mind. It is very important that you do that. Look for the person and get your value from the person. Number two, ask when the fish was arch. You have the right to ask. You can ask your breeder or archer that when is this when did you arch this fish? It is it is it is it is part of your right to know when it was arch, even though you were not there. But just know it. Let the person tell you that, okay, I asked this fish three weeks ago, four weeks ago, one month ago. Let the person tell you the truth. Ask when the fish was arch. Ask when the fish was arch. Because it will not give you the time frame to know, okay, if this fish was arch four weeks ago, then that brings us to number three points. Four weeks old fish to five weeks old fish from hatching should give you fingerlings. Four weeks old fish or five weeks old fish from fingerlings should give you, from fries, from the day it was hatched to that time, should give you fingerlings, a perfect fingerlings. That is number four. So if, when you, after asking number two, number two you ask questions. When was this fish hatched? That's number two. Number three is your fingerlings must, must have been hatched four to five weeks ago four to five weeks ago don't forget that four to five weeks ago that is when your fingerlings or juveniles must have been ashed when you do that when you do that you are surely going to have the perfect fingerlings or juveniles for yourself the next one is that what is the standard size of fingerlings what is the universally agreed size of fingerlings? Which is number four. The universally agreed size of fingerlings is four centimeters. The universal agreed size of fingerlings is four centimeters. Something around this length. That is fingerlings. 
something around this length is fingerlings. Something around this length is fingerlings. So you you must be able to determine the length of thing by looking at it. So the, you have a tape rule to look at it, the tape rule. You have the you have whatever you want to use to measure it to know that this is fingerlings. So between four centimeter to five centimeter is given allowance for fingerlings. So a standard fingerlings should be four to five centimeter. If it's not up to four five, five centimeter, it's not yet a fingerlings. So you can talk to your archer and tell him, okay, still keep it. Keep it until it, it gets to fingerlings. Keep it until it gets to fingerlings. You can explain that to your archer or your breeder. It's not up to the size I want. Please just keep it for a bit. Or whatever arrangement you want to have, but know that if it's not four centimeter, it's not yet a fingerlings. So I hope you got that. Have you written that down? Four centimeter is minimum length for fingerlings. We have written that down. So the next point is know the size of feed these fish are eating comfortably. Know the size of feed these fish are eating comfortably. Know the size of feed these fish are eating comfortably. A fingerlings should eat 1 mm to 1.2 mm. A fingerlings should eat between 1 mm to 1.2 mm. A fingerlings should eat between 1 mm to 1.2 mm. Comfortably. And you know the rule of thumb I told you before about the size of fish, size of feed a fish should eat. There's a rule of thumb I taught, taught you before, and I'm going to remind you again. Size of feed. Look at the eye of your fish. The feed that they are eating should be smaller than the, their eyeball. Should be slightly smaller than their eyeball. Somebody has brought something up, and I agree with him. You can have the size of feed that is 25% of the size of their mouth. This is the size of my mouth. This is half of my mouth, 50%. Now, dividing into another half, 25%, that size of feed is what your fish should eat. Meaning that when you throw the feed into the water, your fish should be able to swim and pick three, four, five, six, seven feet at once and enter the water to go and swallow it. That is what your fish should eat. Your fish should not eat anything less, anything higher. The, 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 the easier for fish to eat feed, the faster for them to eat fast. So that before this feed decides to melt and dissolve in the water, they have swallowed it. Before this feed disappear and melt, your fish has swallowed it. So the is the faster it makes it makes it faster for them to eat feed easily if it is smaller enough for them to swallow. Do you get what I'm saying now? So they should not eat overfeed, over, over, oversized pellets. They should not eat oversized pellets. Your fish should not eat oversized pellets. They should eat what is the smaller than their eyeball. Or 25% the size of their mouth. So put that in mind when you are buying your fingerlings. Put that in mind when you are buying your fingerlings. The size of feed your fish should eat, which is fingerlings, should be 1 mm to 1.2 mm. Comfortably. I add the word comfortably. Some fingerlings, of course, could eat. Some fingerlings, of course, could, could eat 1.5. But they will still go to eat the feed. They will struggle and struggle before they can eat the feed. And you don't want them being cheated out. Because if they find it hard to eat the feed, they get discouraged. They just eat two or three and go and relax. Then the other feed will start floating on water and melting. So let it be easier for them. The analogy I took yesterday on Telegram was about you as an adult. You see that co big cooking spoon in your, comp in your house. They used to turn the soup or something in your or rice. That big one they used for cooking, the cooking spoon. I'm sure you can eat with that, isn't it? You can eat with that. But you will not eat as fast as when you are eating with the tablespoon. You will not eat as fast as when you are eating with the tablespoon. So when two people are in competition of who eat fast, who, is the, who, who eat faster among both of them, I'm sure the person who take who took the big spoon to eat 
will be finding it difficult to swallow easily. But the person who is eating with small spoon, by the time you just pick, 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 pick you, will, you, will, you will understand with me that it is not just, it is not just easy to eat food where, like that. That is why we bring this to you every Sunday to open your eyes to understand that your fish, even the big one in your pond now, right now you're looking at them, make sure they don't eat oversized. Later on, I will tell you the size of fish that you eat at different stage. But let me, okay, let me take it now. Fingerlings should eat 1 mm to 1.2. Post fingerlings should be eating 1.5 comfortably. Juveniles should be eating 1.8 to 2 mm comfortably. Jumbo should be eating 3 mm comfortably. When your fish start getting to melange, they should be eating 3 mm or 4 mm. They should be eating 4 mm and 6 mm. Now, by the time they start getting to table size, which is around 1 kg, they can be eating 9 mm. I say this to your understanding that the perfect fingerless or perfect juveniles is the best prerequisite for having a perfect for having a perfect harvest. So why are you a fish farming, fish farmer, if you don't have a good harvest? The fish farming business is a business that does not end like that. If your fish farming must not come down like that. So the seed, how you put the feed, the, the, the fingerless in water, is very important to know what will come out of it. The next one is that don't avoid, avoid mixing different lengths of fish. So, meaning that when you are buying your fish, when you are buying your fish, when you are buying your fingerlings, and maybe you are fortunate enough to be there while they are counting, as the archer or breeder is counting, you now notice some big size, which are bigger than fingerlings. They are like post fingerlings or thereabouts. And you tell them, tell them, please add it, add it, it's big one. I like the big one. Add it, add it, add it. Ladies and gentlemen, you are just told them to add bandits and Boko Haram to your pond. You see those big ones? They, they don't like the small ones. They just keep swallowing the small ones. They will just keep swallowing the small ones. You just added Boko Haram and bandits in combined together. You add them to your, to your pond. So, avoid them. Avoid adding different size of feed or fish. Avoid adding different size of fish. So, when the breeder has a good art of removing that big size from, from, your, from your pond, from your, from your counting, he has, he has done well for, to do that. Praise him for making sure that your, they are all uniform. Meaning, your, the, the length, the length of your, the length of your, of your fish, of your fingerlings must be uniform. It must be uniform. So let them be equal between four centimeter to five centimeter. If anyone is already six centimeter, please don't add them. They are already going to post fingerlings. From six centimeter to eight centimeter is post fingerlings. From eight centimeter to ten centimeter to twelve centimeter is juveniles. So don't mix them together. Please don't mix them together, so that the big ones will not enter your pond and depreciate the number of your fingerlings. Don't mix them. Don't mix different lengths. If a breeder sells fish to you and he tells to add those big ones, I'm sure he will tell you that this big one, please sort them out on time. Don't let them remain inside this pond. As you are getting there, sort out the big ones and keep them in a separate pond. He may have done you good by giving you those big ones, but it will be worse when you mix all of them in the same pond. So don't mix length. Don't mix length. I've given you five keys now. I'm going to five things you need to look out for. Number one, I've said, get a trusted breeder or archer. Number two, I've said, ask when the fish was hatched. Number three, I said, the fish must be within four to five weeks old for fingerlings. Six weeks to seven weeks old for post fingerlings. And eight weeks old for juveniles. Avoid missing different lengths of fish. Yes, your fingerlings must be eating 1.2. Put that in mind. Make sure you don't forget. Write them down if need be. Write them down. That is that about that. So we are going to part two now. The remaining part, 
I will remind you the topic again. The topic is how to identify the perfect fingerlings or juveniles for your fish farming business. And it is brought to you live by Prodev Integrated Farms and Services, free of charge. This Prodev Integrated Farms and Services, currently we are having a promo that we are doing. The promo of finger, what, are, what does Prodev Integrated Farms and Services do, does? First of all, let's start with that. Prodev Integrated Farms and Services does things. We supply fingerlings and juveniles. We supply big fish and dry fish. We, sup we set up farms, fish farms. We give you finger, we give you tarpaulin ponds. We help you with all the farm equipment and accessories. We help you for farm management. We do training and consultancy and general contracts in agro alike. That is what Prodev Integrated Farms and Services does. But currently, Prodev Integrated Farms and Services is running a promo for starters for people who are just starting fish farming business. And the promo is get a finger, get a pond, the juveniles and the feed together. The promo is get a pond, the juveniles and the feed together. Should I show you a flyer of the promo? Anywhere you see this flyer, it is for the promo. This is the flyer of the promo. Can you see it? So, for as small as 55,000 Naira, for as small as 55,000 Naira, you can set up your own farm. For as small as 55,000 Naira, you can set up your own farm. For as small as 55,000 Naira, you can set up your own farm. For 55,000 Naira, you are going to have um, 3 by 3 tarpaulin ponds. One, you are going to have 50 juveniles. You are going to have 40 kg feet. You are going to have one ebook and mentorship throughout. Now, remember, notice we mentioned juveniles. Why do we mention juveniles? Because we are expecting you as a starter that you should start with juveniles. Juveniles are 8 to 10 centimeters. They are strong and bigger. They are rugged. They are fatter. They are strong. So, you that you are starting, we tell you, we tell you start with juveniles. Why? Because so that you can handle them properly. The analogy I made on Telegram yesterday was for a man, a full-grown man, to come to a hospital and you hand over a day-old baby to the man. You are just punishing the man. Because the man will not be able to handle the day-old baby. The man will not be able to handle the day-old baby. But for a woman, give a woman a day-old baby. Oh, she will carry the day-old baby properly. So, if you are a starter, avoid fingerlings. Go for juveniles. Or go for something in between post fingerlings. Go for something in between post fingerlings. So we have the pack. We have the package of hundred thousand. We have a package of two hundred thousand. So 55,000, fifty-five thousand, hundred thousand, or two hundred thousand naira package is what we have. So patronize product integrated farms and services. Our f number is WhatsApp number is zero eight zero six nine seven eight six one five eight. It is their part of the topic. 08069786158. Drop a WhatsApp message and I'm going to re reply you. This is a flyer once again. This is what Product with Great Farms and Services is currently doing as a promo for fish farmers, starter, and even the existing fish farmers. Let's continue. I have mentioned before that tonight's topic is how to identify the perfect fingerlings or juveniles for your farm. I have mentioned get a trusted fingerlings, a trusted breeder or archer. Number two, I said you should get a, you, you should ask when the fish was hatched. Number three, we said you, the fish must be hatched between th five, four to five weeks ago. Number four, I said the minimum length of fingerlings is four centimeters. So open your eyes and look at it. Number five, I said the fingerlings should be able to eat one mm or one point five mm comfortably. Number six, I said you should avoid mixing different lengths of fish. Don't mix fingerlings to a post fingerlings. When they are counting for you, tell them, it's only fingerlings I want to, that is what I paid for. Don't give me post fingerlings. Oh, you think you are cheating the archer by saying, put that big one, put that big one. If you keep putting that big one, those big ones will become the bandits in your pond. I'm sure you don't like to have bandits inside your pond. They will start attacking other ones and swallowing them, finishing your, your fish before you start harvesting. So, you think they are shooters? Hey, that reminds me. Some people talk about shooters. Shooters, as a fish, uh, as a seed, is very important when you are buying your, your fish. Ask the breeder or ask the breeder or archer for shooters. Shooters are generally those ones that grow faster among their mates. 
So the actual normally separate them out because they're already going very fast at a, pay, at a fast rate. They're already going very fast. So they just quickly separate them and keep them in a separate pond. They just separate them sharp, sharp and keep them in a separate pond. So ask for shooters in, in your, in, for your, from, your, from, your, from your from your farmer or from your breeder. Ask for shooters. It's very important. Now, shooters, the original shooters, original meaning of shooter is that in a pool of in a pool of one blue stock that was arch you can count at the end of the day count like 500 shooters original shooters like i said original shooter just 500 it doesn't make others are not going fast also others will also grow fast but the shooters have a little edge by it in a blue stock you may have like 500 like 500 that is the original shooters now the main shooters now the main shooters now, the main shooters now are the next one that was sorted out. So we keep sorting and sorting and sorting. There was always a last, ba last batch. I will come to that. The last batch, I will come to that. Let's continue. So the next one is number seven. Ask for pictoria or video evidence of, you, of the product you are buying. Let the person put it in his hand and snap or put it on the... On, just let the person do just snap or do video. Maybe you can even can put it beside a narrow note, narrow note if you're in you're the same location. Ask for it. That is if you're not in the same location. But if you're in the same location, you can go there and go and check it. But if you're not in the same location, you can say, please, snap this fish you want to send to me. Let me see it. Of course, most of you have pictures of different celebrities all over the world. But you don't have pictures of your, of your fish in your phone. It's very bad. So tell the shooters to snap the fingerlings or the juveniles he wants to send to you. It is very important he does that. Or a video. He can put it beside a Naira note, maybe 1,000 Naira notes or 500 Naira notes. He can put it beside and snap. So that by the time he sends it to you, it's okay, this length, is it up to 4 cm or 5 cm? So, how to identify these perfect fingerlings or juveniles is what we are still talking about. So, when you see by your eye, you will eventually start liking it. But after you have seen over the period of time, two, three, four times, or five times that you have gotten fingerlings from this person, he has given you the perfect fingerlings. So it has now become number one criteria, trusted breeder for you. So you can go to bed, you can go to sleep and say, please bring 5,000 fingerlings to my farm, or 10,000 fingerlings to my farm, keep it there. You know that this trusted breeder or archer will give you the best. This trusted breeder or archer will give you the best. Let's continue. The next one is avoid mixing breeds. Number what have we stopped now? Who can remind us this? Number what? Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is this number eight or number nine? Who can remind us this? Number what? Avoid mixing breeds. Breeds of fingerlings. Breeds of fishes. Don't, uh, don't mix them. Don't mix breeds of fish together. There are three breeds of catfish. Three prominent breeds of catfish. Ethrobrancus, Ethrocleras, and Claras Ganopirus. Now, these three uh, species, or these three uh, breeds, they all do well on their own, in their own family. It's just like mixing somebody from America, somebody from Nigeria, put them together in the same class, and be teaching them the Nigerian language. The somebody from America will find it difficult to, to comprehend. So, Make sure you don't mix breed. If the archer or the, or, 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 the, uh, or the breeder is trusted, it will not mix the breed for you. It will not mix fingerlings or juveniles. Juveniles, it will not mix length. It will also not mix size. It will not mix breed. Avoid mix, mixing of side or mixing of breeds. Madam Ola Eton said we are number four or number five. I don't know. Let me count from my book. It seems we are not writing. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is number eight. This is number eight, Madam Online, turn number eight. Thank you very much, Madam Sammy, um, Marvel Sammy. Thank you. That is number eight. Avoid missing breeds. Don't mix hybrid and clearers together in the same pond. Don't buy, if you buy hybrid and finger and clearers, put them in separate ponds. If you, if you are lucky enough to buy hybrids and clearers, 
Put them in separate ponds. Don't put them in the same pond. Don't mix them. Otherwise, the hybrid will use the clearers to do pepper soup, fish pepper soup in their pond. The hybrid will use the finger, the, 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 the clearers to do fish pe pepper soup. The next one is avoid buying a certain kind of fish that is called runt. Big head and thin body. That's why I say you should ask for pictorial evidence or go there to your farm. So the farm to go and see by yourself. So avoid buying big head and thin body. Big head and thin body is called runt. R-U-N-T. Runt. And if you buy runt, you are going to run at a loss. So run away from runt. Take a flight and run away from runt. Avoid buying runt. Don't buy runt. Run away from runt. It may be cheap, but run away from runt. It may be accessible, but run away from runt. Don't buy runt, please. I'm begging you. Don't buy runt. Runt will make you run at a loss. Remove the tea and run with it. Don't buy runt. Runt are big head and thin body. That is number one. They are the last batch of sorting in the pond. So, the big head and thin body, you will see them in your pond sometimes. They will just be swimming and be standing around in the pond. Even though you throw food for them, they will avoid the food and run away from there. If their mates come next to them, they will run away. They don't want anybody to come near them. They will just be standing straight in your pond and be, and be, and be, and be going around. Runs are the last batch in your in your sort in their sorting during hatching. They've sorted out all the big big all the all the good good juice. The big the first set they keep sorting and sorting and sorting and sorting out. And it remains the last batch. They refuse to grow. Those ones, those are the last batch. They refuse to meet up that length they want to sell. So they just kept them there and you go and see them. You just pack them and say, Oh, oh I will buy, I will buy, I will buy. You go and start training them, and you're gonna run at a loss. What, uh, what runs may not happen in your breeder's place. It may happen right in your farm. The breeder may give you perfect fingerlings and perfect juveniles, but it may happen in your farm. Runs is a sign of sickness. So when your fish is sick, you, they can become runs if you don't treat them on time. When your fingerlings or juveniles are sick and you don't treat them on time, they can become runs. So, don't allow them to be sick without treatment. When they refuse to eat, find a way to force their, the food into their mouth. Otherwise, if they refuse to eat, they will become runs. A rule of thumb says, before you buy your fingerlings or your juveniles, the head of your fingerlings and the stomach of your fingerlings should be almost the same size. Should be almost the same size. The head and the stomach should be almost the same size. If the stomach is very thin, it's very flat like this at, on the body, and the head is now big, look at the neck also. There is hole, a hole in between the neck, head, and the body. There is hole around the neck. You will see the traces of, of, of the neck, of the neck head shape. The bone of the head is now showing. Run away from such fish. That is runt already. Run away from runt. Remove the teeth from runt and run with it. Run away from guns. It is not good for your fish. Now, the next one is avoid buying cheap fingerlings. Avoid buying cheap fingerlings. Hope you are writing down. Avoid buying cheap fingerlings. One of the cheapest fingerlings to buy is guns. The last batch in, your, in, in the farm. Eh? The last batch there. What well, is one of the cheapest thing to buy? They will buy them and those things will not grow. They will not sell them to you any any other price. So oh, I cheat him. I bought it very cheap. He has given you cheap harvest. He has given you cheap harvest. So run away from runs. Avoid cheap fingerlings. Buy fingerlings at the price is being sold in that location you find yourself. Now, these runs are what you should be avoid in your fish farming business. Translate this to post fingerlings and juveniles. The standard for post fingerlings is mostly between 5 cm 
6 cm, 7 cm to 8 cm. So I will take it from 6 cm, 6, 7, 8 cm for post fingerlings. But for juveniles, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cm for juvenile size. And the feet that fingerlings we eat comfortably is 1 mm to 1.2 mm. Juveniles should be eating 1.5 mm. And the uh, no, post fingerlings should eat 1.5 mm. And the juveniles should eat 1. 1.8 mm or 2 mm comfortably. Avoid all this I have said you should avoid so that you can have good harvest at the end of the day. Is there anything that is not cleared with you now? Like I said, this program is brought to you by Prode Vitigoda Farms and Services. It is the sponsor of this program and is brought to you on TFFAN, the Fish Farmer Association of Nigeria Facebook group. The most reputable fish farming group on Facebook. It is the most outstanding fish farming group. There you will not see anybody posting any 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 scam. You not see people posting things that include done Illuminati and so on and so forth. You not see people asking you to drop number for free training. Nobody on this group will tell you to drop number for free training. If you see it, call my attention to it. If you see such, call my attention to it. That person will be blocked forever. So nobody is going to ask you to drop number for free training. Do you get what I'm saying now? Because by dropping number for free training in other groups, f um, accounts have been hacked. Either Facebook or WhatsApp account has been hacked. People have been duped. Money has been lost. So stop dropping your number everywhere on Facebook so that you will avoid all this outbreak. Tonight's topic is how to, how to identify perfect fingerlings and juveniles. I have talked about fingerlings. I have mentioned fingerlings. Now translate it to juveniles or post fingerlings. This is the foundation of your, of your fish farming business. And if your foundation, if the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? That is our topic. If the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? So getting the foundation right is a prerequisite for having a fruitful harvest. If you go and buy fingerlings anyhow, you are going to have anyhow harvest. Either positive or negative is anyhow. You are going to have anyhow harvest. But if you are actually interested in this fish farming business, make sure you open your eyes and join this group every Sunday, 8 p.m. Join the Telegram group every Saturday, 8 p.m. Do you get what I'm saying now? Now, I will take questions. It's time for questions. It's time for questions. I know you have a lot to ask. So, let this question start coming. Madam, I have answered that causes of run species. So, any other question that is coming up, let us shoot it out. Shoot me your questions. Just write it down. Let me see it. If I don't answer it, repeat the question again. Until I, am, until I answer it. This is coming to you live of Court of, of Prodev Integrated Farms and Services. And like I said, Prodev is going, doing ongoing promo now. Can you see it? So anywhere in Nigeria, anywhere you find yourself, we will build these things to you. For 55,000 Naira to 100,000 Naira, you can have you, you can you can have you can have free you can have free access to starting your fish farming business. Okay, Mba Ife Buchi goes we say back to farm, we teach people free. We well, don't understand what you are talking about. We are already teaching free, yeah. So if we say we teach people free, good. It's very important that you teach free also. We can collaborate, we can do a lot of things. So I don't understand this. This is not a question for us. And this comment is not needed here, please. Any other question, please, before we round up tonight? Any question, please. Okay, in the absence of none. I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to, I'm going to, or should I wait a bit? No question. Or should I wait a bit? Any question? Remember you that I have won something. Please meet me back. What is the best species to stock in the tapulin pond? Different between Clara's and Ethro. Precious Ben again. Okay. The best species to stock in tapulin pond is your claras. The difference between claras and ethro is the morphological features and the and the uh, and the physiological features. 
So look for a head goal, look for a clearance. I have explained that to you on Telegram yesterday. Any other question? Any other question? Please ask question though. So that we can we can uh, sort everything out tonight. Shoot me with your question. I want your question. Still talking about the Fisherman Association of Nigeria. The Facebook group. Yes. We are we are glad to announce to you that one of our moderators will be doing his wedding, will be wedding wedding his art club next this weekend. Yes, this weekend. We'll be at wedding his art club this weekend. Moderator Sadiq Obada. Congratulations. Happy marriage life in advance. So please wait very well and give a lot of fish there. Sounds to the bad will say, how many fish can I stock in 15 by 15 by 4 feet tarpaulin ponds? Pond. Is it pond? Is it fish pond? Is it tarpaulin or concrete or or, or or this thing? I don't know. But if it's tarpaulin pond or concrete pond, I would advise stock just 1,000 in it. 1,000 should be inside. inside. If it is at eighteen pound, I would advise you stop eight hundred. Okay, Madam Laura asked a question. Say, what size should post fingerlings, even even a jumbo be? Post fingerlings, post fingerlings, post fingerlings, jumbo and finger and um, juveniles should be post fingerlings should be six centimeter to eight to seven centimeter or eight centimeter. Juveniles should be eight centimeter to twelve centimeter. Jumbo should be twelve centimeter to fifteen centimeter. But your best, what causes the bubbles in the pond? The bubbles in the pond are oxygen that are trapped. Oxygen trapped. The bubbles in pond are oxygen that are trapped. They are oxygen that are trapped. So what causes it is because the atmospheric oxygen is not able to penetrate into the pond. Insufficient water causes bubble. Insufficient water causes bubble. If the water is not enough in that if the water is not enough to go around for the fish, they will be bubbles. So they will be fighting for oxygen. They will be fighting for oxygen. So what you do is to give them enough water. Now to remove this bubble, just put a point of palm oil inside. A drop of palm oil, the bubble will go. MS Felix say how to measure number of feet for 1,000 catfish. For one another catfish, they should eat 60 something bags, 65 to 67 bags of feed. That is the number of feed they should eat. So feed them to satiation. When you feed them and they are very aggressive, by the time they start slowing down in their eating um, aggression, you to start slowing down. They are telling that they are getting filled. They are no more hungry like before. Ajao was said, best feed for our fingerlings or juveniles. Best feed for fingerlings or juveniles. Best feed for fingerlings or juvenile is a feed that has very high protein content. Very high protein content. Very high protein content. That is the best feed for, fin for fingerlings or juveniles. Yes, that reminds me. On the arrival of fingerlings or juveniles on your farm, this is what you will need to do. When the fingerlings or juveniles arrive, make sure you pass them through salt and water. So pour them inside a, a sieve or a net Soak them in salt and water for 10 seconds. After that, before you stock them in your pond. For 1,000 fingerlings, great egg for them. Once a, once a day for one week. That is the best meal they can eat. Once a day for one meal, for one week, before you give them normal feed. Once a day, as you give them egg this morning, you can give them normal feed in the afternoon. Do that every day for one week, before you stop giving them egg. Some students say it's tapolin to melange. So, 15 by 15 by 4 feet of pollen pond, if you, are, if you are going taking it to a large, please stock 1,500 in it. Samuel Edugan says, in the case where your fish is not eating that much, what do we do? If your fish does not eat that much, what do we do? So, we are going to call a committee of fish experts. These people will come together, come to your farm. Go to a mentor, he will tell you what to do. This is what I also advise you to do. When your fish are not eating well, 
remove the water from your fish. Give them clean water. Because what will make, make your fish not to eat well is bad water. Or the feed is not palatable. That is a bad feed. The feed does not taste well in their mouth. So, make sure you give them very good feed. Give them very good feed. And clean their water. Give them clean water. Give them good feed. And don't stress them. Don't stress them. They will eat. If you do all these things, they are, they are, they are not eating. Go to a feed shop. Like I told you last week, I said one thing you can give them to make their great appetite is feed booster. Fish booster. So, what you do is, though, when you give them a booster, mix it with um, with feed and give to them. Or you mix it with their water when they are very low and give to them. Let them be, it will create appetite for hunger in their mouth. From there, when you give them food, they will start rushing it like somebody who was fasting for five days and five nights. I hope that is understood. Any other question before we call it a night? Any other question before we call it a night? Like I said, this thing is brought, this teaching, free teaching, is brought to you by Prodef in Zigoda Farms and Services, your number one professional partner in all things fish farming and other agro alike. There's an ongoing promo by Prodef in Zigoda Farms and Services. This is the flyer. For as low as 55,000 naira, you can start your fish farm with Prodef in Zigoda Farms and Services. For as low as 55,000 naira, you can start your fish farm. We have one hundred thousand dollar package, two hundred thousand dollar package. The WhatsApp number, the hot WhatsApp number is plus or zero eight zero six nine seven eight six one five eight. That's the WhatsApp number. Is zero eight zero six nine seven eight six one five eight. That is the WhatsApp number. So, ask any question you want to ask about product integrated farms and services on that WhatsApp number. If you want us to consult it privately, ask your questions. If you want us to t- take you up in the class, ask your question. Product of Integrated Farms and Services, your number one professional partner in all things fish farming and other agro allied. 080-6978-6158. Let us revise what we have learned today. Today, we thought, talked about the passive fingerlings or juveniles for your farm. I will mention that number one, Get a trusted breeder or archer. Number two, ask when the fish was hatched. Number three, your fish must be out between four to five weeks ago for fingerlings, six to seven weeks for post fingerlings, and eight weeks for juveniles. Your fingerlings should be four centimeter to five centimeter. Post fingerlings should be six to eight centimeter. Juveniles should be eight centimeter to twelve centimeter. The next one is that you should avoid the fingerlings should be eating one mm to one point two mm. Post fingerlings should be eating 1.5 mm and juveniles should be eating 1.8 to 1.2 or mm. Comfortably, comfortably to know that, look at the size of the eye of your, feet, of your fish and look at your feet size. The eye must be bigger than the feet size. That is how to know when you are giving them the right size of feet. The next one is, I said you should stop mixing different, me- uh, you should stop mixing different sizes, meaning that you should stop mix- mixing fingerlings and juveniles when you are buying them or mixing juveniles and post fingerlings when you are buying them buy only one size madam online does say can't juvenile eat 2 mm i just just said it juveniles should be eating 1.8 if you have, they have some feed that have 1.8 they can eat 1.8 they can eat 2 mm comfortably juveniles should be eating 2 mm comfortably like i said if you buy juveniles from us we will give you what give you what will take 2 mm comfortably now you should avoid, you should ask for pictorial evidence or video, picture or video evidence of the size of the fish you want to buy. The next one is that you should avoid mixing breeds, different breeds of hybrid clearers. Don't mix them together. Please don't mix them together. Avoid buying big head and thin body. Avoid buying big head and thin body. Big head and big stomach should be the perfect. The head and the stomach should be the same size. Now, the next one is that I've Avoid buying big head and big stomach. It's a si- big head and thin body. It's a sign of runs. And runs, run away from runs. Run away from runs. The next one is that runs can come cheap. So avoid buying cheap fingerlings. Avoid buying cheap fingerlings. So make sure you do that. When you're going to go and buy your fish, look at your fish very well. Look at the pond very well. The fish should be, sw- all the fish in the pond should be swimming at every time. If you see them standing right, it's either they just finish eating and they are resting for the food to go down. 
But if they are standing right for a very long time, if they are standing right, standing like this and be, sw- and be floating on water for a very long time, please run away from them. That is a sign of that fish are sick or the fish are runt. Either the fish are sick, either the fingerlings or juveniles are sick, or they are runt. So run away from fingerlings or juveniles that are standing right in the pond. Run away from fingerlings or juveniles that are standing right in the pond. That is the summary of what we learned tonight. Any other questions? Wasia Jawo said, thank you, thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. You are doing a great job. Thank you, Wasiu. Thank you very much for appreciating us. Thank you for appreciating us. Any other question, comment, or observation? Let us ask before we call it a day. So we have three minutes left to stay live. So if you have any question, ask your question now. Ask your question now. TFFAN, the Fishermen's Association of Nigeria Facebook group. Like I said, congratulations to moderator Sadiq Obada. Congratulations to Sadiq moderator Sadiq Abada, he is having his wedding this weekend in Abuja. The flyer will be out. I'm going to throw the invitation open. Every member of TFFAN in Abuja should go and greet Sadiq in this house. If, if he is willing, I can publish his phone number so you can call him and go to the wedding venue and make sure you celebrate with Sadiq Abada. Congratulations, moderator Sadiq Abada. Congratulations. May your marriage be fruitful. May it bring blessing. May many children like fish eggs come out of your marriage. Your children will go from generation to generation in prosperity and in good health. Your marriage will be healthy. Just like you are healthy, your marriage will be the best. You will enjoy your marriage. Your wife will support you. You will go to have the best kids in life. In Jesus' name, I pray for you, Sadiq Abada. God bless you. Now, TFFAN, the chief admin life. We are here. Ask your question and let us call it a night. Like I said, this one is brought to you by the company called Prodef Integrated Farms and Services. They are the sponsor of this program. Make sure you patronize them for everything concerning fish farming and agro allied. You can get them on WhatsApp quickly by calling or by, was- by sending message via WhatsApp to 080-69-78-6158. 080-69-78-6158. Progress of Bible says, what breed of fish is the best? The breed of fish is, is, the, is the best depending on the kind of pond you have. For if you are having tapolin pond or concrete pond, please cultivate claras. If you are having eating pond, you can go for uh, hybrid. They all have all their pros and their cons. Abiodun la- Laurie says, what best feed size to start with for juvenile feed for good growth? Start with ju- uh, 2 mm. Start with 2 mm. If you can lay hand on 1.8, fine. But start with 2 mm. Like I said, for juveniles, if you bring your juveniles after passing it through saline water and stocking it in your pond, give them egg meal after two hours. After two hours, they've entered your pond. Give them egg meal. Egg meal is one boiled egg for 500 juveniles. So if you stop 5,000 juveniles, you will need how many eggs? You will need 10 eggs for that 5,000 juveniles. So do that once a week. Do that once a day for one week. Do that once a day for one week. The egg meal is very, very important to eat. Precious Ben says, is the, is the green algae in pond good for fish? Do, you, do I wash them out of my pond? They are too much in my pond. If, if there are too many green agars in your pond, please wash them out. Wash them out. Especially if it's tapolin pond, it's easier to wash. That's why we encourage people to take tapolin pond. Prodo Integrated Farms and Services actually does tapolin pond. You can see it as one of our logo here. You can see it here. That's the pond. That is example of tapolin pond that you do. So we can easily wash them, wash them off. If this tapolin pond, you can wash it easily. You can wash it easily. You can wash tapolin pond easily so wash the wash the green agar out if you don't wash green agar out this is what will happen the green agar will go to have um, above bacteria harmful bacteria that will eventually punish your fish by killing them so avoid the green agars wash them out mana philomena i'm hearing your your work your voice again 
please, Madam Philomena, send me a message later so that I can send me a message later so that I can give you what you have won. Madam Philomena says, Is the egg to be smashed or thrown inside the inside for them to gush? Oh, the egg, I did not tell you what to do. Take a sieve, a no sieve, or grater. Do you know what used to, the one the man used to grate um, nutmeg or grate plastic grater? Plastic grater or sieve. Plastic grater, the one Mali used to grate your okra in the in the in the kitchen. Take a grater and grate your the egg inside the pond. Just grate it like this. Uh -huh, like this. You grate it like this. You grate and grate and grate and grate and grate until the egg finish inside the pond. Do that. That's how to feed them with that grater. Put it in different angles of the pond. Let them eat those crumbs inside the pond. Let them eat those crumbs inside the pond. So that is that about that. Uh, what I wanted to add is that, so okay, this one, how many eggs will be enough for 1,000 juveniles? I said 500 juveniles, one egg. 500 juveniles, one egg. 500 juveniles, one egg. 1,000 juveniles, two eggs. 1,000 juveniles, two eggs. Precious Ben, yesterday you won, you won ebook on Telegram. Come and write on Facebook that you have won ebook on telegram otherwise next time the price will not come to you philomena please get on facebook that you have one ebook on facebook live that is what we are trying to do encouraging you to come to class this one is translate like i said very soon we're going to unveil the the online school for fish farmers the online school for fish farming business the online school for fish farming business the online school of fish farming business so you are going to enroll in this school i will take attendance you are going to ask certificate in this school that is coming it's part of what we are going to do for you you are going to attend it is a full course you are going to attend it full the online school for fish for fish farming business will be will be so full we are going to have syllabus we're going to have first semester and second semester so it will be two semester thing first semester and second semester i don't know how, many, how long it will be depending on the syllabus it will be comprehensive just watch out. The online school for fish farming business is what is coming up next after this chief admin life. We are going to run chief admin life from now till December. Next year, January. Yes, by January, we will start the online school. The online school for fish farming business. It will be full blown. There will be syllabus. There will be manual. There will be textbooks that will be recommended for you to go and buy and read because you are going to issue a certificate for it. The online school for fish farming business. I'm not the only one I'm going to teach there. Other, other tutors will come and take different aspects. We are going to have packaging from, 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 from the beginning of fish farming to the end, which is table. Even packaging down to processing, everything will be comprehensive in it. That is what we are going to expect in by January. So we are going to just take the chief admin life from now till December. By January, we shoot into the online school for fish farming business. So get ready. Get ready. Get ready. It's coming like a bomb. On this note, we come to the end of tonight's class. If you have enjoyed the class, after this class, just carry the link of this of this video and share to different platforms. Let people watch it. Let them know how to identify fingerlings and juveniles so that they will not run at a loss. Let me pray for you before I end up. I like praying for you. Because you are my students. So you must succeed in that fish farming business. You must have good harvest. You must succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every person that wants to say that you will not succeed in that business. See, even though you do all things in fish farming business, there are some things you need to add. Just add prayer to it. You, it will become better. You are doing well already. Add small prayer, become better. I'm not saying you should rely on pr prayer alone. I'm not saying you should rely on prayer alone. I'm saying that do the best. You can see when I come online, I go straight to the point and hit you everything you need to know. And I said, and I end up with prayer for you, supporting the what you have learned. See, the Holy Spirit said will bring to your reminder what you have learned. So you need to learn before He bring it to your reminder. So if you don't learn, when you pray to Him, He cannot remind you anything. So what I'm trying to say is that I'm going to pray for you tonight. That fish farm will not close down. Bad juveniles will not be given to you. Bad fingerlings will not shut down your business. Anybody trying to fire the arrow of bad juveniles to your farm, I say back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Back to sender. Every archer or breeder.
that want to sell bad juveniles to you back to sender so that your 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 business will shut down no back to sender every archer every of your staff will do well for you treat your staff well also but they will do well for you in the mighty name of jesus that fingerlings you just talk now they will grow very well that fingerlings you just talk now they will grow very well you are going to have bountiful harvest in the mighty name of jesus thank you all for joining thank you all for joining thank you all for joining tonight make sure you share this video later share carry the link and share it let every other person join tonight Cecilia Ego said, kindly throw more light on egg mesh for juveniles. I have thrown more light on it. Go to the Fisherman Association of Nigeria. Just write egg meal. Just write egg meal in the search button. Write egg meal in the search button. You will see I have written an article on egg meal. Go to catfishpreneur.wordpress.com catfishpreneur.wordpress.com Go there and search for the egg meal, um, egg meal for fish. Search for the egg meal for fish. It is there. I've written comprehensively about it. So go and read it. Cecilia, I go up. That answer your question. So tonight, this is the end of tonight's class. Thank you for coming to class. Congratulations to the winner tonight. Make sure you share this video. And God bless you. God bless the Fishermen Association of Nigeria. God bless all fishermen. As you are trying to put food on people's table, the Lord will not make you lack anything. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.